welcome to What I Eat Wednesday. I am starting my day off with an egg white omelet. I put in some red onions and then just some cut up green beans um, and sauteed it and then added egg whites. We made something a couple days ago with egg yolk, so we just had left leftover egg whites, so that's what I did. Um, and I was able to flip it successfully. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that was in the camera, I think it was just off, but it worked more or less. Anyway, so then I also have it with a little bit of tzatziki. Um, we had falafels again a few days ago, so we opened a new tzatziki um, container, so just using that up. Mm -hmm. Doesn't taste like much, but it's still pretty good. Um, the tzatziki actually gives a lot of flavor. And then for my tea, I am having what was day eight of the advent calendar. It's organic ginger pear. It's a white tea and it has some um, pear, ginger, I think apple as well, and cinnamon. Um, it tastes pretty good. It almost reminds me of if I was starting to get sick, I would want this. I think it's just like the ginger in it, but mm, it's good. So I'm gonna have this and then get on with my day. <laughs> I'm gonna go take the dogs for a walk, but I'm just eating a mandarin. It's really good to have the box, like it's visible on the counter. So every time I walk by, if I'm feeling a little snacky, I'm like, oh, I'll just have a mandarin. So, mm -hmm. For lunch, I am going to be making a tofu zucchini peanut sandwich. <laughs> it sounds disgusting, but it's what I would make a lot in the summer. Um, however, I would grill the zucchini and the tofu. Now it is too cold, even in mild Victoria. It's only like five degrees, so it's too cold to barbecue. It's windy. <laughs> no, it is really windy. Um, and yeah, <laughs> my toes are still frozen from walking the dogs a little while ago. Um, anyway, so we're gonna just make it on the stove. So I already have some zucchini going, and then my tofu that's pressed um, and then I have still put a new peanut butter jar actually I don't know how to press this so these are tofu steaks Ooh. <laughs> so here's the peanut sauce I have a quarter cup of peanut butter a tablespoon of soy sauce some garlic lemon juice and hot sauce so I'm gonna just mix this up when I have two hands and I may put it in the microwave just to soften up the peanut butter just for like 10-15 seconds I've taken the zucchinis off and I had already flipped the tofu, so now I just put a layer of the peanut sauce on it. I'm gonna flip these over so it gets a little bit crispy on that side. I've already turned the heat off um, because otherwise this is just gonna burn. Just so it gets warm. And then, so I have my sandwich, adding the tofu. And then I baked my bread, so that's yeah, pretty toasted. This is what it looks like. And now let me taste it. I definitely like grilling it more. It makes it so much better, but it's still pretty good. Aw, oh, look at Chloe or Trip Trip and Molly. <laughs> He's sitting on your sister. I am off to work now, and the tea I am taking is the white Christmas white tea. I only have about three more tea bags left in the box and then I can throw out the box and there's more room for all the other teas that I have. <laughs> so I will see you guys after dinner. We're gonna be making Spanish rice, so I'm excited about that. I am back home from work and Dan has already started dinner. Um, we are making, as I mentioned before, Spanish rice. Uh, so it's kind of like a spicy rice with well, technically some tomatoes, but you know, we're making it our own. Um, so he has already um, fried up some onions, uh, and then they call it just onions and red peppers. We put in like a frozen veggie mix, as well as a can of mixed beans, five mixed beans. We figured get some protein in. We're not having it as a side dish, we're having it as our main dish, so good to have protein. So now he has added a cup of rice to the veggies and he's just gonna saute it probably what, like five minutes? Yeah, um, and that just makes it when you do cook it, then it's not gonna get mushy at the end. Um, so just, yeah, doing it and then we're gonna add the rest of the stuff. Now we're going to add some salsa. Um, the recipe that we're actually following says you should add some like stewed tomatoes or diced tomatoes. Um, but we found another recipe that called for a cup of salsa. So we're kind of, but the other one didn't have other like veggies added to it. Anyway, so we're 
mixing the two, but we'll see. Uh, and then we're gonna add two cups of vegetable broth. Ooh. We're gonna continue letting it simmer and cook it for 20 minutes with the lid on. We ended up cooking it just for 20, just over 20 minutes, um, but the rice is cooked and the water has all completely absor been absorbed um, or evaporated, so we're going to eat it now. So we added some taco seasoning and a little bit of chili powder as well, but I forgot to add that before, so I had to open it up while it was simmering. So to taste it, Mmm, that's really good. I mean, ours doesn't have as much um, like tomato in it, but I absolutely love it the way it is. And really, it was so easy to make. You just kind of throw it in there, toss it a little bit, you know, mix it a bit, and then just put in your everything else and let it simmer for 23 minutes or so, walk away, and oh, this is fantastic. And there's lots of leftovers, so that's really good. I will definitely be making this or like a variation of it. You can throw whatever veggies you want in there um, a lot more often because it's delicious. So we're gonna eat this and then I'm gonna go to dance class. I'm back from dance class and it's ridiculously windy outside. Um, so I'm making myself some tea. This is uh, Yorkshire tea decaf though. Um, so it's just brewing or steeping I guess here. And I put some soy milk in there already. Pretty good. Good for a very cold day. And I want to show two cards that I got this past week. The first one is from Heather in Ohio, and I follow well her and her four dogs on Instagram and yeah, our Facebook friends and just her beautiful dog family and her daughter and her husband and stuff. Oh, they're so cute. And then the second one is no it flipped over, there we go. Uh, and this one from Gemma and Steve in the UK. So all across the ocean. It's so very sweet. So Gemma and Steve, they also love Disney. So yay, fellow Disney fanatics like myself. <laughs> Anyways, that's it tonight. Um, Gemma, I've already put yours in the mail because I got this one on Friday, I believe. Um, and Heather, I just got yours today. So I will be sending you a card tomorrow. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week. <laughs> Bye.